Hello students, today I am going to discuss about a topic that is DNA replication. What do you mean by DNA replication? Making of making of new strands of DNA from old template template strand. In presence of, in presence, in presence of DNA polymerase enzyme.
डीएनए पॉलिमरेज बाय डीएनए पॉलिमरेज फॉर डीएनए व्हाट यू बाय प्रूफ रीडिंग प्रूफ रीडिंग प्रूफ रीडिंग एक्टिविटी मींस वेदर दे दे करेक्ट न्यूक्लियोटाइड इज गोइंग टू ऐड इन केस ऑफ न्यू डीएनए और नॉट सो दिस थ्री एक्टिविटी मस्ट प्रेजेंट इन ईच टाइप ऑफ DNA polymerase one, two, and three. Okay. So first of all, if you are taking the DNA strand, then you know the direction. What is the direction of DNA synthesis? That is five prime phosphate to three prime OH. Okay. And then if there is double stranded DNA, then it is Five prime phosphate to three prime OH. So generally DNA are anti-parallel, anti-parallel. Okay. So due to presence of such type of arrangement, DNA is highly stable because there is a presence of hydrogen bonding. There is a presence of hydrogen bonding between the nitrogenous base okay so how many hydrogen bonding is present in case of between a and t there is two hydrogen bonding and between g and c there is three hydrogen bonding so collective all the hydrogen bond make a dna Highly stable. Okay. So first of all, I am going to initiate the DNA replication. What are the different enzymes required in case of DNA replication? The first enzyme that is helicase. This helicase will open the helix, means separating the helix. Suppose this is the direction. Okay, so that will open the helix. Okay, and then you can observe. Suppose this is helicase, and you are indicating this is helicase. Okay, so if this enzyme is present, then the both the strand is going to separate. So when you remove the two strand of thread, then during removing the two separate strand of the single thread then you will find the torsion here so that strand is create, created by helicase so that torsion is relaxed by topo isomerase which enzyme is responsible for relaxing the a strain during opening the helix that is topo isomerase now next enzyme that will come here and make a what type of a strain that is rna okay that is rna so that enzyme is primase that enzyme is primase Okay, so primase is responsible for making RNA in case of living organisms, but in case of DNA, the primer is itself DNA segments. Okay, inside the uh, inside the lab condition. So primase will provide RNA, and there is presence of OH group. This OH group is very very important. For initiation of DNA replication. Okay. Now, next enzyme will come that is DNA polymerase 3. So, these two strands, it is act as a platform or template for making new strand of DNA. Is there two strands? That is, this is 5 prime phosphate, 3 prime OH, and this is 
it is anti parallel so it is 3 prime oh and 5 prime phosphate so direction of dna synthesis occur in 5 prime phosphate to 3 prime oh direction this is very very important question for any competitive exam or in your coming exam okay so direction of dna synthesis is direction of dna synthesis is 5 prime this is prime p means phosphate to 3 prime oh this is the direction okay and then polymerization will start so what do you mean by polymerization one by one on nucleotide will come and make a phosphodiester bond so they get bond chemical bond between two nucleotides suppose this is a nucleotide base pair means base pair so if this nucleotide and this nucleotide join then there is a formation of phosphodiester bond which bond phospho phospho diester bond so that chemical bond will form between hydroxy group of the second nucleotide and suppose uh, sorry phosphate group of the second nucleotide and hydroxy group of first nucleotide so there is formation of phosphodiester bond one by one nucleotide will come and join or make a new strand yes. that is leading strand that dna is known as leading strand and this is 5 prime phosphate and this is 3 prime oh 3 prime oh of new strand okay so you know what is the direction of new dna strand synthesis on template dna that is 5 prime phosphate to 3 prime oh whatever the base present on old template dna suppose there is a then next nucleotide for the new strand will be t if there is g then there will be a c will come not t will come so this is the complementary base pair rules means in old strand if a is there then in the new strand t will come in old strand if g is there then in new strand c will come so this is continuous synthesis of dna strand that is known as leading strand that is known as leading strand okay next is lagging strand so what do you mean by lagging strand there is also a template dna a short segment of primer will form at different position i have not explained this type of a structure what is this this is single strand binding protein this is single strand single strand binding protein okay so this single strand binding protein will keep both the strands in separated just it as a nail just so that it will not again join otherwise it will join because if you if there will be no single strand binding protein again both the strand will join so this is the function of single stranded binding protein okay next in the lagging strand in the other on the other template strand short segment of primer will form a stretch of primer will form and the dna polymerase one will come dna polymerase one will come and add nucleotide okay add nucleotide okay so there is short stretch of new strand dna will form in lagging strand so it is forming a a small segment that's why it is known as okazaki fragment okazaki fragments so these are the new strand dna that is 
ओका जाकी फ्रेगमेंट ओके नाउ इन केस ऑफ लीडिंग एस्टेम दिस इज कंटीन्यूअस सिंथेसिस ऑफ डीएनए when we will going to open by helicase enzyme then relax by tocoisomerase then primer will form by primase then dna polymerase 3 will synthesize continuously this dna strand dna polymerase 3 again synthesize and last end you will find a small gap so a small gap between the two dna segment it will join together by dna Ligase, okay. So this DNA ligase acts as a glue. This DNA ligase acts as a glue for joining the small segment of DNA. So you have to know what are the different function of the different enzyme used in replication. Simple DNA replication means making of new strand of DNA from old template strand. There is anti-parallel. You know, five prime phosphate, three prime OH, and then five prime phosphate, three prime OH. So these are, you know, opposite end, and make a stable. This DNA is highly stable due to anti-parallel arrangement, and you know, there is a hydrogen bonding between nitrogenous gas. So it will make a stable. So this is the overall DNA replication. First enzyme will come that is helicase. The next enzyme will come that is tocoisomerase. Just helicase will open the helix and tocoisomerase relax the strain. Whatever the, during opening, the strain is created by this strain and then primase will create a primer and then single strain binding protein will separate. Make the separation of both the strain till completion of uh, application. Then next enzyme DNA polymerase three. It will continue the synthesis of DNA uh, five prime phosphate to three prime OH. And in case of uh, lagging strain, a straw a stretch of DNA will form by this DNA polymerase three. But it will not. Continuously synthesize the DNA, so there is a stretch of DNA will form. Now, this is this is primer, that is RNA. So the primer is going to release, removed by this DNA polymerase one. This primer is going to release by DNA polymerase one, and again there is a DNA synthesis occur, and then lastly there is a small gap will occur between two DNA. So that gap will join together by the DNA ligase. So that gap is known as NIC and ICK. So NIC is created during lagging acid synthesis. So that NIC is joined together by phosphodiester bond by DNA ligase. So this is our study of DNA replication. Thank you.